you're looking to extract the transcript from a YouTube video so that you can then edit it and print it out and use it in your teaching and learning, this is a great tool. This tool is actually free. You can use it for up to three videos a day, a maximum of 30 minutes per video, and it works in multiple languages. So I'm gonna show you how the technology works, and I'm gonna show you how I then take those transcripts and create learning materials around them using a few really simple AI tools. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So this is a tool, it's called turboscribe.ai. There are a couple of very simple things to keep in mind when you do this, and it's very easy to use. Now I've created my account using my Google account, so I'm just gonna log in. So you can see I'm logged in now, and this is the basically the screen, and you can get an idea of just how much I'm using this technology because I find it so useful. Let me show you what a transcription looks like, and then afterwards I'm gonna show you very quickly how you do it. So let's take this example here of a video I did just yesterday. I'm gonna click on it, and straight away you see that you get the whole of the transcript. Not only that, you actually get the audio file, so you can play it and read at the same time. Now you don't get the video, but it does extract the audio file and the text. And if we scroll down, of course, we get the whole of the text. You can do a video of up to 30 minutes. And very interestingly, you can actually download that audio as well. So if you wanna work with the audio offline, you do have that option. One really interesting thing to keep in mind as well is that you can actually play back the recording and listen to the audio at the same time and it marks where it's speaking. So let me show you what I mean. There isn't one best time of year, but I'm gonna walk you through some of the pros and cons. So I like the idea that it's kind of highlighting the text as I'm reading it through. Notice that immediately that you've got the text, you can then download it as a PDF or as a doc. So for example, if I wanted to save that as a Word file, I can just click on it and that is gonna download load that file for me and save it for me and there it is as a uh, a downloadable doc and it's even going to open up into Word and you'll see it on the screen now. So super useful because now of course you can print it out etc etc. So how do I use this technology? How is this possible? Let me quickly show you. So I've opened up a YouTube video here and I'm just gonna copy the link here at the top of the video that I want to transcribe. I'm gonna come back now click on TurboScribe because I want to go to the opening page, click on transcribe files, transcribe files. And there is just two things you need to do. First of all, click on this link. And the first thing you want to do is paste in the YouTube video and you simply need to import it. Now that's just the first part, that's bringing in the YouTube video into the system. Now is the second part, and this is really important, choose the right language, so in this case I'm going for English, but notice there are multiple languages, as I said before, so we're doing this in English, and come down here, I would suggest using the whale mode. Now there are a couple of other features that you might wanna look at here, but for today, this is all we need. So I'm gonna now click on transcribe and almost immediately it's gonna be st start to transcribe that video and I can see here that it's already doing it. Okay, I can see it's finished it. I'm gonna click here, it's gonna open it up. I've got the transcript. Remember, I can listen to the audio as well. So I'm gonna click on this button here. I just spent a full month in London and let me tell you there are a lot of things that I wish I knew before. Okay, so you can see that you've got that. Now remember that if you want to, you can actually download that audio file and then you can play it offline. So you can click on this button here and that will actually download the audio file for you and give you that and that will be in your downloads. Okay, so we've seen how you can take a YouTube video and extract the transcript from it. What I'm gonna do now is show you how you could then take that transcript and create some learning materials around it very, very quickly using ChatGPT. If you're liking the video, please don't forget to like it and let's carry on with the video now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is download this file as a doc. Now I've opened up ChatGTP and what I'm gonna do in ChatGPT is just click here and attach that file. So I'm gonna upload from my computer, go to my downloads, I've got that text, I'm gonna click on open. And it's now gonna bring that text in. And now I can ask it to do lots of things with that text. And I'm gonna say, can you write me a 
300 word summary of the video text. That's going to be my first or video transcript. So let's see if it can do that for me. So it's hopefully going to extract from that the basic, um, so really, really useful, okay? So it can get a summary and you can obviously limit the length of the time. Now I'm going to say, can you make comprehension questions about the transcript? I would like five questions and I could even say level let's just try this okay level B2 English and let's just see if I will now generate for me some comprehension questions so you probably want it to actually and there it goes it's going to give you the questions yeah now I'd want the answers here so yeah can you provide me with the answers And hopefully it can do that as well. It's going to provide me with the answers to those questions, okay? And I'm also now going to ask it, can you list for me? There's another example. Can you list far a 10, let's say, 10 useful words to learn from the transcript? And it will do that. So you can see all the sorts of things that I can now get ChatGPT to do and really, really powerful, okay? If you wanna know more about using ChatGPT in uh, language teaching, then there's a great video on the screen now that you can watch that goes into more detail about using ChatGPT, and it even talks about how you can use voice with ChatGPT. Notice with any of these things here, of course, you can just copy them very easily when you uh, generate some content with ChatGPT. Underneath, notice that you get this button, Copy. So it's very easy for you to copy. Now, one thing about what I've shown you is First of all, we extracted the transcript, then we uploaded the Word file, and then we can now generate all sorts of activities. And of course, we can just request different activities that we want ChatGPT to do. There is another tool that you can use called Diffit that will actually do the whole thing. It will extract the transcript and generate all of the activities all in one go. The only difference is with Diffit is that you don't have control over what activities you can generate. Whereas obviously when you're working this way, you can basically ask ChatGPT to generate anything you want, whether it's a list of words, comprehension question, true or false, gap fill, etc. summary. But if you wanna know about Diffit, and it is an excellent tool, then I'll put a click a video on the screen now that you can click on and watch the video about Diffit. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, 
This training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.